Hey guys, welcome back to Dave Wright the Capitalist. I'm Dave Wright. I am I am going to clean out my email box today um, that goes along with my Amazon business. I've been trying to figure out exactly what I'm going to do with this channel, how I'm going to fit into my schedule, which is pretty busy, and I've been avoiding things that I want to do. Um, in pushing them to the next day and falling behind with a lot of the projects I want to do. Uh, long term, I'd like to just hopefully be able to create and work just on DeFi. But currently, I'm doing an Amazon business. I'm doing real estate investing. I'm doing the crypto DeFi projects. And I'm doing these channels and hopefully going to do some more podcasts. Um, but I thought I could take the two and kind of show you guys how I find products, uh, show you a, no, a new wholesale website that I use that I found on wholesalecentral.com, kind of walk you through that project, and I want to test my camera. I ran two tests. The camera ran for over two and a half hours without overheating. Hopefully this will continue and there won't be an issue. Um, and also, I have my glasses on today. These are blue blockers. Something happened with my, my eye. Can you see that? So I don't know what it is. I wasn't doing anything extremely stre and any more strenuous than normal. So I've been taking it easy. But as always, please follow me or subscribe over on DaveWrightTheCapitalist.com. A lot of the software that I talk about uh, and the projects I talk about are linked here. Uh, I won't be using Analyze Tools today, but you can use it with the site that I'm going to be going to. Uh, I will be using Jungle Scout today. The link is here uh, if you want a discount on that. I will not be using Celeboard today. I've always, this is to promote my philosophy channel, Dave Wright the Thinker. If you want to head over here uh, where I talk or try to talk about philosophy, I don't know why the site does this. There's actually 103 videos, but for some reason, it only does the... He's 99, and then it gives up on me. But anyways, go over there, put stuff in the search bar. I wonder if Amazon's in here. I don't think so. It's not a very good philosophy topic. One video where Amazon comes up. So if you're interested in that, you could go there. But let's get into the video today. Um, I have a couple of different email accounts here. This is my Amazon email account. And I'm going to go through some of these here. See, these are all Bulk Buy America. If you go over to WholesaleCentral.com and let's just look it up here. Here's, so here's Wholesale Central. This is where I found this. You can look under here, which is Amazon FBA suppliers, and look for wholesalers. And one of them under here will be Best Buy, whatever. I found this a while ago, but here's a list of, of different things. So just so you know, uh, let's just do a little prep about Amazon selling. I am an Amazon seller. Most of the stuff I do, do is online. I never touch it. I buy it from distributors. The distributors either pack and label it for me and send it to Amazon, or they pack it, send it to Amazon. Amazon labels it for me. Amazon then does all the customer service. They ship it to all the locations across the, um, the United States from their warehouses. I never touch it. They handle the returns. They pick up the returns. Uh, and then I can go into my account. Let's just open my account anytime I want. Here's my Amazon seller account. I can go in here. And then I have a balance. Looks like I currently have $5,478. I could hit this request button right here, and I could get that distributed to my bank account, and I would have it tomorrow morning. Uh, but we're not talking about that right now. Some of the stuff, like we see behind me, I don't know if this will get back into focus. This stuff I purchased locally. I'll be labeling this and shipping it out myself. Maybe I'll do a video on that. But we're going to go through... This is a site called Bulk Buy America. And they're basically a wholesaler. And the, one of the reasons that I do like them is if you look here at the top, when you're looking for these things, if you're going to use a software 
such as this analyzer tool software. And let me open this up here. This is a software where you can just literally put in a spreadsheet. Um, this is not the way I access, or is it? Oh, that's for the wholesale thing. Sorry. So that's where you would sign up. I actually go in through the actual tool in the front page and sign up. Please don't email me. I'm just going to delete it or block you. So you can put spreadsheets in here, scan them. They'll help you figure out where the profits are and stuff. Oh, I don't even have it open here. So this is the analyzer tool here. Put in spreadsheets. You open them up and you look through. One of the, one of the things I like about Bulk by America is if you just click this download inventory here, it does give you an XLS. You, so you need either an XLS spreadsheet style or a CSV file that you can manipulate and then feed into the software so that the AI in, in computer does a lot of the work for you. So they do have that. One of the things I don't like about them, so they will ship to Amazon for you. Let's see, do they have a minimum order quantity? So there's certain things that you're going to have to do when you find these sites if you're a new seller. So if you open a new seller account, it's free to do on Amazon. They'll send you a postcard, get your address, and then each sale you make, there'll be an additional $0.99 cents that they tag on to the sale. Once you are selling 40 items a month, switch over a pro account. That costs $39.99, which means... If you don't switch over to a pro account and you're selling 45 items, you're paying an extra $5 a month. Um, but back to the who are we here? How much is there a membership with Bulk by America? No, it's free. Do they have a minimum purchase quantity? Uh, they sell by the case, so the minimum purchase quantity is their case size. Do they sell the bit, uh, tax exempt? Yes. Can they, do they sell the individuals without a tax ID? Yes. So that means if you're just starting and you don't have an EIN number, which is free from the government, they will still sell to you. Do they have a printed catalog? No. Everything is done through the website, which is good. Um, what you need to see if they do, uh, L, if they need an LLC, and I'm going to guess no because they don't require a tax ID number. Um, you want to make sure that they do sell to Amazon and do, 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 do. they don't do dangerous goods. Do they ship to Amazon? Here you go. Yes. Do they split their reason multi Amazon locations? Cases are delivered at whole cases. So they won't split it up. So you'll just have to put them as case packs into Amazon. Now, one thing that I don't particularly care for, which isn't terrible, is that they only accept an ACH deposit from your bank account. So you can either have the money on hand and transfer it. Not that you can see my teeth, but I just ate before I got on camera. <coughs> Having a little salt water here to rehydrate some electrolytes. But they only do ACH deposits. And I think they do Zelle. So if you have a business account or a Zelle account, you can put money in there and transfer it to them. I, I think, does Zelle, let me see. Let's ask the almighty chat to me. Does Zelle allow you to pay with a credit card? No. Yeah, so Zelle is just a way to do... Um, you link your bank account or debit card to it, and there are third parties similar to PayPal. So one of the bad things about, I wouldn't call it bad, but one of the obstacles for Bulk Buy America is that you can't use a credit card, so you can't get cash back points. So you have to actually have the funds in hand, so you can't borrow on a credit card with no interest um, and pay them back in 30 days. So there's a couple of extra steps, and you have to have some cash. But anyways... Here's the site. You can look at it up here, bulkbyamerica.com. And I'm just going to go into my email here. And if you see, I have a lot of these emails. You can get on their email list and they will send you products like this with the link. And 
you can either download all the inventory or you can look through them individually like this. I thought it would be fun for me to clear these 72 bulk by America emails out of my box today and show you how I decide of whether it's a good product or not. Um, what's good about being on their email address is at, you know, at 5.47 p.m. on Tuesday, August 27th, which is today about an hour ago, they sent me this as soon as it hit stock. So I could have been one of the first people to look at this and purchase this and get this hot item or buy it out before other individuals got it. Um, what's bad about it is if you don't keep up on them, you can have 72 unread messages in your email because you're running around doing too much. So let's get into it right off the bat. I just see lipstick and I think, okay, well, this is kind of a meltable item and it's summertime, but it's heading towards fall. So the minimum order quantity is 192. Let's pull up our calculator here and we'll just get into it. Now, if you don't do Amazon and, and or you're thinking about doing Amazon, but you do other businesses and stuff, th th this isn't necessarily about starting an Amazon business. Get yourself into a, a, a headset, a skill learning technique where you are problem solving how you can generate income by not every hour of your work is paid um, by a third-party boss that's making money with their skills yet. So, for example, if you work at a fast food restaurant and you're getting $15 an hour, you're only making $15 an hour while you work. If you were to learn this skill set here, you're not just learning Amazon. You're not just learning, looking at a good, you're looking at a, how to make a good, uh, research a good investment for something by looking up all the different avenues and obstacles that you may have. And then I'm using Amazon and their system that they already set up to make profit. So when I finish this work, if I do find a product, it goes off and then I can sleep and all their workers and all that system is taking care of it for me. So that time and energy that I put into this should generate more than a couple hours worth of work. If you check out my other video, um, I found $2,000 worth of profit in 90 minutes. Now, that'll take a couple months for that profit to come back in, but the initial profit, it was a $2,500 investment roughly, and $2,000 in profit are slowly coming back to me. So this is a way and a mindset that you want to get into here. But anyways, right off the bat, these are $19.50 each, right? So let's just say that that's $20. And you're going to multiply this by the minimum order quantity of 192. This is a uh, $3,840 item. So if you were looking through these for yourself, right off the bat, if you're like, well, I don't have, you know, $4,000 to spend between shipping and this product, then this is not for you right off the bat. So you, time is of the essence. You would delete this. I'm just going to go a little bit deeper into this. This will literally pull up the Amazon link for me. And I guess they want me to prove that I'm not a computer. Okay, so this is pulling it up on Amazon. And right off the bat, the next thing that I see is this a variation listing, meaning not only when when people go to this site, and I, this is what's called Jungle Scout here. This I have a link to this Jungle Scout app if you want. There's also a free version. We'll help you get some of this data. But 36 units sold a day, 10,000, uh, well, uh, 1,028 a month. But this is a free app called Keepa. It's an extension. If I go to variations here, this one's actually called do, 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 number 12 Rosewood. So we go down here and let's look at the image too, because that helps even more. Let's find find this one. Looks like this is it right here. Let's move over. Okay, so this is sold 3.47% of the time. No, I'm sorry, it's the one underneath that. This is sold 2.34% of the time. 
So a very small percentage of these actually sell. They don't have a lot of quantity. They're a meltable. If we actually, the other, so I'm already like in my head saying no, but I'm just going to show you this really quick uh, in case it was one. And then you would take this ASIN number here is the an, an, uh, Amazon identification number. You would put this into your product line and see if you can add it as a product. And this one I can sell. It's called being ungated in it. So if I wanted to buy it, I could, but I don't want to buy it. So this one's just, it's got too many no-nos. It's expensive. Um, we're looking at spending $4,000. Uh, it doesn't sell that many, and it's a meltable. So this email can be deleted. Next, we got some Tums. Tums, $3, and you got to buy 360 of them. So we got 360 times three. We're around $1,000 plus shipping, so... If you didn't have that, then you would get out. And I'm just going to open the link here. Let me shut down the old link. So I just pop right back. Oh, this is annoying. Come on. How you going to do this to me, huh? Every time with this. Every time with this. I wonder if it's from the site. I wonder if it, they don't like the bulk buy America link. All right, at the third, because this never happened to me before. One thing maybe I can do with my email. No, do I have my shields up? I don't have my shields up, so I don't know what's going on. But anyways, we got this thumbs here. It's the only one of the bunch. Let's see who's selling it. Is Tum selling it? Is Amazon selling it? Yeah, it looks like it looks like Amazon is selling it for ten ninety nine. So we'd have to compete with Amazon. There's five other sellers. We'd be number six. It sells forty five a day though. So forty five divided by six, we would be able to sell seven or eight of these a day times thirty, which would be two hundred and twenty five a month. So now we have to see if this thing is profitable. So you're going to come over, and this is also free software. I should have had this pulled up already. It's been a while because I usually don't do uh, manual searches like this. I do use that analytics tool a lot. So stuff like this, I would actually, instead of, it, this is something if you want to get it before everybody else. This is Go, this downloading this and running the scan would be much quicker to sort through this but I'm doing this if you don't want to pay for the software this is how you would learn to do the calculations manually so we're in here we're going to go into the revenue ca calculator on Amazon which is free you're going to search it's going to bring it up it's going to tell you the current price is 92 now, this is for Amazon FBA. This means Amazon's going to do all the shipping, and this is if I was going to ship it. So we have this shows us our fees already. Here's the item price, and we need to go down. We're going to be on the East Coast, and we need to put the cost of the goods in. So when we go back here to the email, they're $3 each. So if it was cost... Of the goods was three, and uh, let's say it's a dollar to do all the rigmarole that goes with it. It's probably less than that after shipping and stuff. And they're saying it sells for nine twenty, which was the current buy box right here. Amazon actually sells it for ten ninety nine, so we can see they have three hundred left. So this company is going to be selling them for a while at that, but. We could spend $3, which is closer to $4, to make a dollar nine, which we'd be selling 225 of these times a dollar nine, which if you're just starting out and you need an extra $245 of profit, this is probably not a bad product for you. It seems low, but you understand is once you send that out there, you don't have to 
worry about doing any work to it. It's going to go out to the warehouse. You're going to pay for a little shipping. Um, and you're going to make an extra 245 Now, the issue for you as a new person, and once I get going on these, I'm going to be going much quicker, is you got 360 of these times $3. Like I said, it's going to be this plus some money for shipping. So you're, you're probably looking at 1200 to make 225 So if you had $1,200 to invest and within the next... 30 to 60 days, you wanted to, you would get that original $1,200 back as they sell and the additional $225. And you might be saying, well, Dave, that seems like quite a lot of work, but that's a couple of days work for this short amount of time that I was on the computer. Yes, you need the initial investment. Don't get me, don't get me wrong on that. But if you were to put that in a bank account or a CD or anything other than maybe crypto and even crypto, you're not going to get that type of returns. Where can you put out, you know, around $1,200 with shipping? It's probably a little bit lower than that. Time, effort, and they're going to touch everything for you. And then you're going to make $225 profit. I am not going to do this. I'm looking for something a little bit more of return for my money. So I'm not going to do this particular product, but we're going to step in here. Here's a high-end product. I'm going to stay away from a $500 product with a minimum order quantity of 31. I mean, we're looking at 31 times 500. It's probably a good profit, but you're spending 15,000. I part of me wants to do it. We won't do it on stream because I'm trying to find some lower stuff for you guys. This one right next door. Is a five is a four hundred minimum quantity order at twenty dollars a piece. So let's delete that. Uh, this is a minimum order quantity one forty four for five fifty, and here's hundred. So let's just look at the bear really quick. This thing, why why is it continuing? It's got to be the link from. It's got to be the link from the thing. All right. So I'll tell you what. I am going to stop doing the email ones because all of these are in this form. So instead, let's go to this downtown, this download inventory because you kind of get the point of what's going on with, uh, with how you do that manually. You would pull this up. I would see that there's three of these. This one here sells 11 a month. This one, this one, and this one. We would go down to the variations. I'm going to do all this stuff. But you can see how if you wanted to do these manually, you would go to this revenue calculator once you found a product that you wanted to define, and then you would punch it in. But I'm going to show you the software that we've done once before. And it looks like it's still figuring things out here. We're going to open this up. When, when I bring this in, we're going to have a couple of things here. And let me just close that down. All right. So you want to make sure that you, this one has the Amazon part numbers in the beginning. So we're going to use that as the ASINs category. So let's change this over to ASIN. So the software can read it. We're going to change this over to price. That's fine. And this is the minimum order quantity. Yes, it is. So we're going to change that over to minimum order quantity. I just like to put these all to the left because it makes me be able to read it easier. Let's save this. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to rename this. We're going to name this bulk, oh, caps, we're going to name this bulk by America, and we're going to give it a date. Today is the 27th of 2024. This way, when I pull this up and I look at it in the future, when we use this analyzer tools here, I'll be able to know 
when that scan was so I can check to see if that particular scan uh, is new or old or when I found those dates if I need to run it again. So here we go. We're going to do product uh, type ASIN. We're actually going to use that first category that I did, which was ASIN. We are going to use the price, and then we're going to have a reference column, and my reference column is going to be that minimum order quantity. We're going to en enable the premium data for pros because we're pros. No, so this basically, when you do that, it's going to pull all that data that I was pulling up online for us so we don't have to uh, pull it up manually. Um, it's going to pull up the current pricing, who's got the buy box, and all that good stuff on Amazon. I want to see if I go into Amazon on my own right here. Yeah, like when I go to Amazon on my own, I'm not getting that sign-in thing. So I think it has to do with the links from Best Buy America here. I'm going to keep this up because... Let's just say when you want to look up one of those items, you want to put it in here. And then it's going to say, okay, we have this. We're going to add it to my cart. No, I'm going to continue shopping. So now you, once you've found it, you want to make sure they still have it in stock, that the minimum order quantity is correct. And the lead time on this is seven to 10 business days. Um, I want to check this because, all right, so it's letting me do it from there, just not from the other things. And I can't, this has got my personal information in the shopping cart, so you won't be seeing, you won't be seeing that. But this way, this is how you can check this particular item. So how are we doing here? So this is still scanning. Um, this all started because I made, or I, I, I made for everybody, this one right here. And let me just make sure this is paused so you're not getting any volume. This is the video where I did find 2,000 in profit in 90 minutes by using this technique. It was a little expensive. We're going to look for lower priced items today. But this has a lot of good nuggets in it on how to search for the stuff as I rebuild this, this channel. Um, I don't pause stuff here. I don't edit. So while this is going on, I want to sh maybe I'll walk you through and take some time here. So I'm going to put it, go to the big screen, go on the big screen, and hopefully you can hear me here. So can you see over here? No, it's blurry. How do we how do we get the focus? There we go. So let's focus. These are my Rolo printers over here. These two printers, I have one of them prints the labels for the stuff that gets shipped in. And one of them prints the, the, the small labels for the Amazon label numbers. Um, and what you know, what I'm gonna do eventually within the next couple of days, I'll probably film a video on this, is I found a product this, this particular item is discontinued. They're not selling it anymore. I found these in a store for $6.99. They sell for $30 because they're rare. So the difference between me finding this product and what they sell for is the value in which somebody will pay for them to get them for their child. And then you're going to take the UPS, the UPC code here, and I'm going to put my own label over this for Amazon. And then all of these will get boxed up and shipped out. And as they get shipped out, I never have to touch or deal with them ever again. So if you see all these products here, you can find these at your local at stuff at local stores. I got light bulbs. I got toy. I got toys. I wish I could get that to focus on the back. It supposedly has a lot of focus. Maybe I'm just blind. I can't see the computer uh, that far. But you don't have to you don't have to touch the things. But if if you're interested in that, you can with just your smartphone here, you'll be you can get the Amazon uh, Acceler app. And let me pull it up here. I don't know if it'll show on camera. 
it looks like this. And it, it's like a tricorder for Amazon selling because you can open up a screen, which is basically a, a, to scan barcodes or photos. And it scanned something in the back there. It scanned my curtains on the wall. It recognized them. And it said, those blue curtains that are up there, if this was the brand, sell for $34.95. Uh, if you... Depend they're eleven dollars and seventy two cents at fees. You'd have twenty three twenty three in profits. It shows you all that on the app. And so if you could find that for, you know, eighteen dollars or less, twenty dollars or less, uh, ten dollars or less in a store, then the difference between that and the twenty three bucks is yours. So if you want to really start at ground zero. You can take a product like this, and again, I'm stalling for time why this spreadsheet works. You would open up the, the scan bar, you scan the UPS, uh, the UPC, and so if you can see here, does this, shoot? let me get the, the blur. Do I have to dim the, dim the screen? Just dim the screen and see what happens. Uh, it's not really the dim screen, but this is this item. So it would come right up to my phone. It shows me the sales rank right here. It shows me that the current feature price is $28.93. It shows me the current fees on that particular price are $6.62 plus another $4.33 in Amazon fees. So I'm going to put in my price here as $7 to purchase what I paid for them and I hit send and it tells me that these will make $11 profit each about a 37.84% uh, net margin and if you take that and now I have 3, 6, 9, 12, 13 of them so 13 times that $11 let's say $10 profit is $130 worth of profit. But the beauty of that is when I went to a store and there's you find one of them, you pick them all up, and that didn't take me a whole day's worth of labor to do that. So some people that are out there working, they're working all day for $130. But there's skills and techniques that you can use when you learn these strategies with Amazon uh, that you can make that in just a couple of minutes. All right, let's see if this spreadsheet is up and running. It is not up and running. It's taking, it's queued. So maybe I should, what can I, what can I do? What can I do <laughs> in the meantime while that's waiting to go? Normally they go almost instantaneously. So I don't know why they're queued instead of not going is it peak hours maybe let's let's try this let's try another one let's try this again maybe it's peak hours or something no this one's cute as well is this a failed video folks ladies and gentlemen ladies and gentlemen I guess I could edit this. I guess I could put this in some sort of software and cut it down. In the meantime, let's go back. Let's do some manual. So I don't like this. I'll show you how quick that I would do these in real time. I would go through, okay, that's pretty much the same thing. No good. Um, that's a big, that's going to take up a lot of space. That's 850 bucks. 180 for Vaseline lip therapy. You have to buy 600. Maybe that's good. This is annoying. But at least I know that it's the, the website link now. Do I have to unlock something here? No. It's just a, just a bug in the system. So these are actually pretty popular. They sell for $6.99. 17 a day. They are meltables, but we got a ton of competition on the listing here. 
So we don't like a lot of competition. We would sell this with 29, 30 under other people, and that's not even one a day. So that's all set. This is a chemical. This goes into the hazards department, so we don't want that. Uh, 104 times 20, you guys want something cheaper. Those both go into hazards. I don't want that. Those both go into hazards. This is all hair dye, so this is considered has hazardous material by Amazon. Uh, here's an eyeliner thing, 400 times 4. I'm getting pretty good at not being a robot at this point. Uh, variation listing, not interested. I'm going to keep that open and see if I can avoid it by keeping one screen open. Those are variation listings. $15 for 420 We're looking at... 15 times 420 or 240. Where, where did I get 420 from? Hmm, oh, I wonder. <laughs> what do I can't do math right now? Times 240. That's a little expensive for everybody. Same thing, a little expensive. All right, so here's uh, the site that I was talking about, Wholesale Central. Um, the, I If you get on their mailing list, they'll send you all the new stuff, and then you can immediately click on all the Amazon stuff and sign up. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six new companies here that are working as Amazon FBA supply chain people. Back to the book by America, 26 times 240, too expensive for you guys. Those are expensive, same listing. That I got to deal with. I got a product that they got denied i guarantee you this is a no so it doesn't matter if i already have one open it wants to make sure so it's something with the way that they put their links in that email i could have guessed that's a variation listing this is just an email from being on the email list we're going right through these hey if you want to sign up for seller board by the way that's how i track all my profits um, the links on the front here and you will get a discount. I believe it's an extra two weeks free, uh, for signing up via my seller board link here, but they sent me an email for getting $20 bonuses for you guys. Value customers bringing inventory to contains 2000 and HBA card minimum order 12,000. I'm going to save that for myself, but too high for you guys. This is another variation listing. Meltable variation listing, 250 that's almost five grand. Too expensive. 42 times 192, expensive. Mop heads, too expensive. Minimum more quantity six times ninety, so six hundred bucks, right? You never know what you're gonna find. So this as weird as this looks is a piece of metal. It's probably not gonna break or be damaged, but yeah, it doesn't sell much. That's what I was gonna say. If it's just some weird thing that sells. Those are some pretty good items because they don't break break that often. So here's some lower minimum quantities. Here's some plates they break. Not interested. Here's a sock, though, which might be good for Christmas. And you're looking at the initial investment would be $14.50 uh, times $39. So you're under $600 bucks here. I'm not going to lose my cool with <laughs> telling Amazon I'm not a, not a robot. But you got a variation listing, and it's not just a color variation listing. It's a size variation. So we could go down here. Oh, that's us right there, right? What size? What's the size? doesn't say the size. Is it one size fits all? Large and adult regular. This is a woman's men's. 
So I guess it's that one. It's the top one there. 12%. So that's actually the most popular one. Oh, I should have just looked at the beginning. And they don't sell much. So we don't want those. This is expensive. You don't want those. Still queued. So they're probably going through something tonight at this hour. Here we go. Here's a good one. Some sandpaper. Super inexpensive. Not going to get broken. People probably aren't going to return it. Uh, K-P-Y-F-Y-X. IP alert. We can't sell it. IP alert is intellectual property alert, meaning the person that sells it doesn't want anybody on the listing. Bike seat. Not bad. Let's see. Let's see what this is all about. I should turn the robot voice on since Amazon thinks that I'm a robot. There you go, Amazon. Is this what you want for me? Is this what you want for me? Is this what I mean? And if you come to you, the robot is a variation listing. Must delete. I'm still cute here. Let's see what happens if we... If we... Uh, enough with the robot voice. If we refresh, I don't know why it's queued. They must be there must be a lot of people online right now. Uh do, 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 do. Imagine you had to just imagine you lived in a world. Imagine a world where you just everybody thought you were a robot. <laughs> you just had to constantly plug that stuff in. All right, so I got a feeling. So those are 14 and there's six. Not the bad. I got a feeling I can't sell this for some reason. Usually with these particular types of items, they're blocked. But I can sell them. Okay. Okay. We're getting somewhere here, people. I should keep this. Uh... Where is the calculator? Keep the revenue calculator up. Uh, what are they? What are they? They're six dollars a piece. Say there's six here. We're gonna need a bag on those. So these are probably gonna be a dollar fifty-five. You're gonna make sixty-six, sixty-nine cents, sixty-nine cents. <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm so sorry, people. Are <laughs> All right, Brita filters one twenty times fifteen. Eighteen hundred. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say that's higher than you guys want. Here's another inventory list. This is another company called. Uh, this is a good starter company. Actually, they have a lot of foods and kitchenware and stuff. I don't know what the actual. I guess it's called S C Top Deal. Um, but they actually have a lot of good products. So if you're looking for another company to buy from, this would be it. Still cute. I don't understand what's going on. I guess I'm going to have to scrap this video. So I'm just going to turn this video off. I did 45 minutes for nothing. Actually, I'm going to, I'm going to go. I'm going to push through. I'm going to delete all the emails here. Uh, no. I'm going, to, I'm going to use my best judgment. Too high, too high, too high, too high, too heavy. So items like this, this is a two-pack of two heavy, heavy items. The shipping will eat up all your profits like this unless you're doing huge pallets on huge trucks. And the minimum order quantity of this is just 33. But most of the stuff is going to be on a, on a truck. I don't know what this is. That's not bad. Ten dollars for fifty nine of them, some sort of cleaning agent. Here we go, here we go, people. Here's one for you. Maybe these single miracle grow things will be profitable. All right, two ounce singles. Let's go. Let's select another product. 
paste it in here. Let's go to my Amazon account over here, see if I can sell it. I can sell it. They're ranked very high this type of year. They're selling for six ninety six. Is that true? Looks like it. They're selling four hundred and twenty eight a day. Okay, we're selling a lot. Let's look at the variations because we have two ounce singles. We have thirty two ounces. The two ounce singles, two ounce singles, are fourteen percent. So the most popular one are the bottles, but the two ounce singles are number two. So we're at four twenty eight a day at sixteen percent of that. So four twenty eight times sixteen percent equals. 68 of them a day. Let's see what your competition is. It's Amazon. So now we're going to check to see the buy box statistics. Does Amazon share the buy box with other individuals? So I'm using Keepa right now. And it does not look like Amazon is sharing red, leather, yellow, leather, red, yellow, leather, red, yellow, Red leather, yellow leather. It does not look like Amazon is sharing. So this product's a dud. Amazon doesn't want to share. Uh, do, do, do. Next. Plates, they're going to get broken. That's expensive. Actually, I like stuff like this. This is something I'm going to save for myself in the future. I like little air fryers and stuff, so I'll look at that later. This expensive looks like a walkie-talkie. We're still queued here. I don't know what's going on. They must be down for. Um, they must be down. For some for some reason, right when I'm making my video. So it's good. So we have to do it manually, anyways. Expensive, expensive. Breakables ink seven dollars times one fifty. That's not terrible. Not terrible. Can you guys do 750 or 1000? This stuff sells usually pretty quick. This um All right. We got 3 of them here for the variation. They sell 107 a day. Let's just make sure that we can sell these and we're not gated. So I'm going to come up here and put this in to see if I can sell it. So you would open your Amazon account and see. I can sell it. They're ranked really well. We'll go back and look at the variation because there's three of them. And it's the second best one. So it's selling 37%. So of those 107, 37 of them are being sold today. So then we go over here and we see what our competition is. And, oh, nobody's sell, sending these in. So why aren't they sent into Prime? So these aren't sent into Prime. So let's get a, a real data analysis on these. So we're the current, so they sell for about $19.99. So let's put them in here. They sell for, let's say, all right, we'll come down to the current price right here, which is that. And they're selling for, and you can get them for 7 bucks. So we're going to come down here and put $7 in. There's going to be shipping and bags and labeling. Uh, so with those are a little bit heavy, the plastic bags and the labels are buck fifty. So we're going to probably do $2 in shipping each. Unfortunately... All the profit gets eaten up when you add that additional feature in. So these are no good. But we're going to keep going. That's expensive, but I actually like items like this coming close to Christmas. I'm going to save that for myself for later. Here's an Xbox controller. Here's our Toms again. So there's a 320. I wonder if it's the same link.
I am just going to grab this number here. I'm going to go over to here. It's HRZ4. Yes. Yeah, so, so this is how old these emails are. That this is now three dollars down from three twenty. Um, these are a little expensive. It looks like Analyzer Tools is down for the night, of course, when I'm going to make a video. So I'll have to do something in the morning for you guys. Uh, this is good, though. It shows you how you can go through this stuff manually if you had to. This is a cleaning agent. It's going to be messy, sloppy, wet. But this is like um, this is actually pretty inexpensive if there was enough profit in it. They're 192 times $1.25. All right, so for 300 bucks, So I'm going to open this one up because these two are pretty cheap. I'm going to guess it's a variation, and they're on the same on the same listing. And, I mean, at this point, I've just, I've, get, I've gone insane where it doesn't even frustrate me <laughs> to put that code in. So they're $8.99. Let's go. Let's see if I can sell them first because you don't want to go through too much if you can't sell them. That's the Tums. I need this. Paste that in there. Boom. I can sell them. They got a decent rank. Let's go to the revenue calculator. Put this in here. It's claiming they sell for $8.99. Let's see if that's good. Yeah, it looks like it. it is. Let's see what the competition is. It looks like there's two of us. We would make number three. And they only sell four a day. So we'd be selling about one a day, which this is a good starter prop. Uh, product they sell you're you're getting them for a dollar twenty five. So you come over here and you put the dollar twenty five in. These are heavy. They're gonna need labels and stuff. So there we go. Like the shipping just ate up, but uh, all the all the fees for you right there. As soon as you put the price in, you're down to forty nine cents profit. But 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 because these are bundled over here you might be able to make some money with the same product with the bundling. And let's see if I can sell them. Bam, can still sell them. Let's come in here. We'll put the bundle in there. The bundle price is $4.75 each. They sell for $20.99. This is going to be really heavy, but at $4.75, now you're going to have to, you're going to need labels, labels and bags too. So you're probably another $1.55 each. Now you're at a dollar each uh, to, to sell those. But it's that's like 20% percent you're spending 475 so you would be making what do we say here you'd be making a dollar let's just say i just be super 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 conservative so you're making 120 dollars so it's 475 times 120 so you spend 570 to make 120 bucks like I said, you have to look at this in a, in, in a particular manner. And that manner is if you were to put $570 into your savings account and let it sit there, how much money would you have in 30 to 60 days? You wouldn't have an additional 120 bucks. Now, there is some other risks here. These could get broken, stolen, returned, uh, leak. There's all sorts of issues why I wouldn't deal with them. But I just wanted to give you another example of how you could manually do that. Let's go down and delete the next one. Oh, is that it? No, I got some more bulk buy stuff here. So that's just another. What's going on? Attend the fall. Okay, so this is just a wholesale meeting. Um, minimum order quantity, one, 265 to 120. Let's look at these.
Big variations. Not interested in big variations. I think these last time those were that brand is doing IP complaints, but let's just open it up to make sure. Yeah, IP complaints. No, too expensive. Same, same email. Too heavy, too expensive. Too expensive. It's tough to get ungated in Yeti. Too expensive. <laughs> I bet you these are good. Though. You only have to get five of these. I'm going to do a deep dive on those later for myself. It's high end, high end, expensive. This is just the inventory again. This stuff actually sells all right, but you get a lot of complaints, and you're looking at six dollars times three sixty, a twenty two hundred. This is right back where I'm starting, where I got the complaints from the other one, where the initial investment was too high. Um, what I would really like to do is sh show you this software in the future. Maybe what I'll do is I'll always make sure to do the spreadsheet first and have it already finished and then come back and show you how I set it up but never never upload it have you know basic basic movie magic for everybody <laughs> little look into behind the scenes uh do, do, do. what is this no, thank you. Too expensive. That probably would have been good during school season. These will sell really well. Those are meltables. These sell very well, but that's a high minimum order quantity for you guys. Uh, high minimum order quantity for that price. Same thing. They give IP complaints. Let's see. Let's see if they still do. So it's not saying it. I had gotten some IP complaints from products like this in the past. They only sell one unit, 18 a month, so they don't sell enough. Too expensive. Too random. But I'm hoping you get a feel for how easy it is to sit on your buttocks on your computer and just look at products like this and get good at determining what the entry fee would be. So we're right around 1000 for this. To pop it open. Oh, that one didn't give me the thing. The robot must trust me now. I convinced them that I'm no longer a robot. <laughs> All right, so this one sells five a day. What's our competition like? What is our competition like? I'm not seeing anybody. Anybody, okay, here we go. How many people? We just want the prime people. So we'd have 14, fifth, we'd make 15 divided by five. So there's not, there's too much competition for this product. So I bet you it's profitable. It just has too much competition. Here it is again. These are actually really good. I've sold these for a while. Um, and this is like going to come up for the fall season. Let me pull this up for you guys just in case, because in case you could get the money together for this right here, uh, I'm because I'm probably going to end up buying something like this. You're going to be putting out $14,000 just in case you can come up with 14000 because these fly off the shelf during like Super Bowl season and stuff. And let's wait for the. Let's wait for Jungle Scout to kick in. Let me come over here and make sure I can still sell them. Because I sold a lot of these last season. 
And they get higher than that. They get higher than that fifty nine ninety nine. So they're selling for twenty eight fifty. Okay, so this is too close right now. You're only making three. You're, it's less than six percent margin. But if I look at what these similar crock pots like this will start selling for like seventy nine ninety nine, eighty nine ninety nine. Um, in which case, now when you're when you're here at even the seventy nine ninety nine, you're making twenty dollars a pop, uh, and they fly off the they fly off the shelf. Let me look at what it was in the ninety. Yeah, see right here. Currently they're at sixty, uh, but over the ninety days they were seventy, and over the last six months they were eighty. And if we look at the graph here let's look at the past two years month wise and then let's look at the price this is the price and so if you look at it in March it was 69.99 but if you look at it in April it's 89 and then we got July August, September, all 89, dips back down. And then January, February, March, April, May, all selling for $89.99. Um, so if this was something that you researched and did your due diligence, and these were selling for $89.99, like they say, you'd be making more than 100% profit. You'd be, well, the, the shipping is in the in, inbound fees are here and they're weighted a little bit more. So you would pay some for shipping or whatever, but you're looking at spending twenty eight fifty plus shipping to make twenty nine dollars. So with something like this, you're spending fourteen thousand and you're gonna have some damages, you're gonna have shipping and you're gonna have some errors, but you're gonna be making fourteen thousand back. So when you get really good at this and you have the income to put this out there, just finding this one item right here is going to, it's going to allow me to sit back and not worry about my expenses for months, you know, and then you keep piling that type of item on top of one another keeps coming in. And then you're not worrying about expenses for six months, eight months, a year. And then you can really sit back and find good, other good investments like that. That's the key. That's the key. That's what we're looking, looking for here. So I know I'm an hour deep. I doubt too many people have gotten in this far. They're probably, you're probably a board. But we're gonna keep cleaning my email address, and I'm gonna save that because I want to look deeper into those crockpots myself. This is no good. Uh, they gave me an IP complaint. This is generic. I don't want to sell Britis. This is just the email with the the this that I can't even scan right now. Let me give one more filter clean. Yeah, in the future I'll, I won't I won't do it on the fly like that. Um that might be something worth it. These are aerosol can four packs, so they have to be shipped via the ground and they take up storage space. Yeti is hard to get uh, ungated in. Uh, I don't know what this is. It looks like a water filtration system, uh, if I had to guess. But it's got a low minimum water quantity. 54 left at $750 each. It's only $450. Let's open this up. It doesn't think I'm a robot anymore. They sell for $29.99. What is this? Okay, so it is like a push valve for for water for a toilet it looks like hydrolyte water saving dual flush value with push button brush handle they sell six a day so they're pretty popular these are the weird items that you've never heard of where you make some money if you can trust your data search here and don't get emotional so these are only 750 each uh, so we'll put the cost of goods in here, seven fifty, and then we'll put some miscellaneous two dollar fee here. So perfect. So you're gonna spend seven fifty to make nine sixty two. Let's make sure that I can sell these. 
I can sell these. That doesn't mean that you will. So now we go back here. They sell six a day. What's our competition? Amazon. All right. So that gets a little bit brutal. And then, uh-oh, how many other people sell these? This is where you have to go. All right. So it's only, it's only two other people. So we would make number three. So now we got to go to data and buy box and see if Amazon sells, shares the buy box at all or if they hoard the buy box for themselves. And it looks like no one's ever, they always just them. No one's ever had the buy box besides them. Let's go. Not even used. So this would be very risky in the fact that Amazon has a thousand plus of these and they don't give anybody else the buy box, which means you would have to go very low in your pricing to have them give you a share of the buy box and, and sell. The other thing we can do real quick, let me just go into offers here and include historical offers. Uh, and we're going to do free shipping, FBA and prime. This is in the Keepa app again. Yeah. And if you look at the solds, it's, this was way, way back. So Amazon pretty much controls this controls this listing. Let's take historical out. Yeah, they don't let this other person even get any listings. So unfortunately, very profitable item. Now, you don't have to sell these on Amazon. You could send these to your house and put them FBA on Amazon like these other people did. And... You can go and you could say, I need to make some money because I'm a brokey. All right. And I and I I'm thinking outside the box. So I go to I go to eBay. Put the Amazon part number in here. And it's not on there. So we're gonna take the title. We're gonna go here. We're gonna take this. Actually, you can go down here and look for the UPC first. So let's see if the UPC number is in here. It is. So we're going to cut and paste this UPC number in here and search. And bam, there it is. It sells for $25.19. Here's another one for six one. Look, so it's we're going to look at North America. No, we're going to look at USA. We're going to look at free shipping. And we're going to look at sold. Uh, oh, sorry, right here, sold items. So on August 17th, 2024, somebody sold one of these open box. So they don't sell very well. Let's get rid of the free shipping. And let's go to... Just sold now. All right, so these don't sell very well on eBay. So we struck out there as well. But good item if Amazon wasn't controlling the listing. Delete it. I'm going to give up looking at that, and we'll just clear my email out. Um, I don't like these brushes here, but let's check out this right here. 2666. No one has these in for FBA, which is unusual. They only shipping them in. They only sell one a day, 15 a month. So not very popular. Um, let's go through here. This is on the summertime. That's a breakable. Too cheap. Too big of an order. Although some of that stuff is good here. All right, so here's some minimum order quantity stuff that's really cheap. These are generic, but who knows? It's a variation listing. Let's check out this Meyer, Myers Cleaners. Another variation listing. Let's see if they sell a lot, though. Come on, Jungle Scout. Wake up. All right, 137 a day. So... I'm really happy, by the way, that we are. Oh, 
Sorry about the mic tap. Check it, check it, check it, check, check. We're an hour plus in of me wasting your time. <laughs> I'm teaching Amazon, and uh, my camera hasn't overheated, so that's a good sign. We're going to go down here to variations, and we are going to look at 32-ounce fluid one-packs. which is right here. And they make up 22% of the sales. So we're going to take 137. We're going to multiply it by 22%. And we're going to find out that's 30 units a day. Amazon's on the listing. So we're going to go to the data and we're going to go to buy box statistics and they don't share it with anybody. So again, Amazon... You want to make sure that you're not competing with them because it's not even competition. There's a breakable. Uh, these guys got IP planes. This is a breakable. Um, high minimum order quantities. High minimum order quantities. This might be good here. How many they sell? You're going up against Amazon. Do they share the buy box? Come on, Keeper. You can do it. Oh, okay, so they actually do share the buy box. This is good that this came up. Give you an idea that Amazon doesn't always hoard the buy box. Now we still have to check how many these sell. They sell 24 a day. How many people would we be competing with? It's just us and Amazon. Let's just make sure that this is not Dr. Browers. It's not. So we'd be number three. So it would be 24 divided by three. We'd be selling eight of these a day, roughly, roughly. So the volume is there. If we can meet the price, let's just make sure of... The offers here. Yeah, and they look balanced. Okay. Now we make sure that we can actually sell it. So we're going to go over to Amazon here. And I am ungated to sell it. Looking pretty good. Let's go to the revenue calculator here. We can get these for $9 basically. And... They're claiming to sell for eighteen thirty-eight. Is that true? The current buy box is eighteen thirty-eight. Says Amazon's only got one left in stock. And sorry, we can get these at nine dollars each. So at nine dollars, we eat up all our profit, and there's a dollar twenty left. <laughs> and so is the game. Is so is the game. But you can see what I'm doing here at least, and. It's slow because I'm talking through it. Um, but I've already found a couple items for me that were profitable as you build this up. So in this in this hour of time, hour of time, let me get work on my posture. My posture, people. Uh, you can see how this would be much better than working manual labor. You're trying to find basically an investment in a product that sells and you're learning the technique, you're learning the market, you're learning the items um, and the technique for searching the items. Those are interesting, but I'm not interested. Meltables. I wonder if I'm ungated in that. Oh, that's a big minimum order quantity. This stuff sells so good usually. I just do this for myself. Real quick, IP can play. That's what I figured. Yeah, a lot of the companies don't want you competing with them, so they will put intellectual property as if it's fake, and it's really hard to contest, so it's really not worth it. I mean, you have to buy 5,400 of these. I wonder how much it sells, though. They sell thousands a day. These toys are really good close to Christmas. Thirty nine a day. That's a lot, though. Still a lot. 
Because you got to buy 5,400. 5, you got to buy like six months worth. Here we go. Almost done. Almost cleaned my inbox out. Those are expensive. Those are generic. All right. These are some good items here. That's like 3000 though. I like these little things here. Those are a little too pricey for you guys, though. Maybe it's not, but I, this is for the people that had said to me the the minimum water quantity, the, the pricing was too high. So I'm trying to find some lower-priced items when, as I dive in here. With some lower minimum water quantities. I watch a pretty cool Diablo 4 streamer. And he sometimes he doesn't even talk, but they're watching the game. I feel like when I'm on 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 video here, it's we're hour fifteen minutes in. I have to continuously talk to keep people's attention. I would be very surprised if anybody made it made it this far, waiting and waiting and waiting to see what we come up with. Uh, still probably too high. Probably still too high. My my inbox is getting empty though. So. Either way, I win. Okay, so here's here's two. I'm almost guaranteed that this these two right here are um, variation listings. Yeah. So you got four items here, big variation listings. But this one's not too bad. It's five. Let's just see. Oh, they don't sell enough in a day. All right, in the same boat. Ah, uh, this is done, so maybe I'll shut this off and start back up here right after this and do that spreadsheet here. So this will be part two. So here we are. I went through... Oh, no, we got a couple more deals here. No. 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 This is actually pretty good. You see how long and boring this video is and we didn't come up with much? Now I'm going to go in and I'm going to do part two. And I'm going to show you in part two how quick the spreadsheet makes going through all this stuff. Here's my email that that, that, that thing is done. So if you made it an hour and 17 minutes in to watch me go through that, that extremely boring task of cleaning my email out, I would seek help. <laughs> I uh, know. If you did, thank you very much. I hope that it was helpful. You can fast forward, rewind. I'll try to put some chapters down here, but it's pretty much the same thing over and over again. It can be a little bit tedious, um, but stay tuned. I am going to go. I'm going to take everything we just did here. I'm going to take that spreadsheet that just finished and make a second video with this analyzer tool here and show you how quick analyzer tools can do that same job that I was doing manually. So, okay. Thank you so much. And I'm really surprised my camera didn't overheat, so maybe I can keep uh, making videos like this.